Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host of their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. <clears throat> Black Shields will vanish. Okay, part members. Uh, you already know that. Makes sense with what we're in here. May the blessing of the Phoenix go. Uh, is that close to a. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. I mean, uh, you pissed them off. your command, my lord. <laughs> right now, then. Let's go. What is it now? I told you! We <laughs> bear a message for the Vicereen. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! <laughs> you presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then we come! Can't pull anymore. Die along with your flame! For us area! For us area! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords we swear! Ooh. Yeah. 
Taking it, you have but proven our point that this land is in dire need of cleansing. <laughs> to me, boy. Get you ready. Crafting, crafting, yeah, that's fine. I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. Yeah, maybe. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. <laughs> She'll move <laughs> nah, swiftly she to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home, and we must fight for it, as we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die, and her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So I die. <laughs> Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? Mm, a sound a strategy, idea. my lord. Where are those actually? 
need to check that. <laughs> and how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. <laughs> I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. <laughs> and I will have to obviously think of a way dead. to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. A it's the mark invisible. of the guardians. There we go. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. Not a seal. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Yeah, Lord Commander was burnt to crisp. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need, I know. Go on now, my lord. Accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. <laughs> right, I guess my uncle believes we're impostors here to rob him. He means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. <laughs> Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. Okay, let's have it. Have at it then. You would mock me as well. <laughs> it is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow. Thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against <laughs> church and okay. crown, I shall have thy head. <laughs> Curse thee, infectious flax wench. Even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more.
Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh Clive, my dear boy. <laughs> it's <are>. really you. <laughs> Always were fond of that scene from the saint in the sanctuary. Never did let me play a Crandall. <laughs> oh, he did a fine job playing him. Oh, he did. I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle. You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. Oh. Very kind, I'd say. Uh, see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. Pardon? So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Right. If it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But he is a fool. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? By your own, of course. You've always <laughs> been a terrible liar. <laughs> is that true? Touché. <laughs> it's not uh, untrue. I'd say no more about of it, eh? It wouldn't course. do to linger on my nephew's Jill greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> Why then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. <laughs> oh, he's this genius. Will be fun. Um, amazing character. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. 
Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. Understand. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, Will the monster cease to be? Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Turn to the hideaway. Let's go. And then we'll see if there's any extra side quests. Only the founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom. But Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, for side quests, I think. Thanks for Okay, we have two. So let's go these. I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sterner stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Hmm, sure, depending on what he needs. So we'll see. Something tells me he won't be taking no for an answer. Fine, I'll help. Fantastic! Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, Chances stew. It was once a favorite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The I'm only curious. problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic. As to Thank the you, Alejandro. 
effort. No a good work day. Most likely something color. that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses. Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask mm, next time I'm there. Try. Let's prioritize this and then head to the blacksmith. Glad to see you. Is something wrong? It's Blackford. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, right. he ain't been for a while. Look, normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but not this time. Something's getting him down. And whatever it is, he ain't telling. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what do you say? Well, we can try. Might Fine. be they just need some motivation. If you think it will help. No, you don't change. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. He'll open up when he's ready. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. This will be interesting. Oh, next one. What do you have for us? Few. Okay, so clear view and the broken hilt. Let's remember that. Now we're over here, let's have a look. Clear view and broken hills. Uh, broken hills. Oh, here it is broken hills. Okay. So you can go, oh, actually when we do Martha's Rest then, don't think we have the other one. Oh, we do. I just don't remember, remember the area anymore, shit. Uh, so the one was to Martha's Rest and the other one is... Yeah, yeah, Nectar, I know you're happy. Um, Clairview. I'll remember clear if you would go after the two two side quests. What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. Phil shut you up. It's nothing really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I 
keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. Oh, come on. I should have brought the barter thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. Now, every time I reach for my armor, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. Yeah, you happy? You got what you came for. Now, piss off. All right, we're going. You can understand, but still, good competition, though. Should make him go forward with this stuff. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work. Which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he so should buy that stuff, I guess. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. Oh, here she is. Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, sold it already. Oh, damn it. I didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened to cross him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of some it. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. Oh, damn. He don't trust okay. hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working their hides. I see. He did tell me something, though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here, there's a griffin on the hunt board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. Now, we're oh, really okay. not excited. Intriguing. Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe. Hey, the. Care Northern. That was oh, it. No, that's another one. Thank I mean, you, Karen. Again, you have to be there with another you. one. At least you admit it. So. It sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunt into you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Pardon. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. Who's the hunt worth to locate the griffin? They're almost in clear view, so if you pass that on the way, you can see the Okay, here it is. No. Oh, here it is. Um, Sir Norvins. Okay. Go to the selector. Okay. Clear few and Sir Boy. Somewhere here. Uh. 
a smart cape. Oh, here it is. Wait, but that's glorious, Kate. Inaccessible. I guess you can look around. We don't have this area, and we need clear view anyway for our hunt. So, might as well go. We'll see what we got. still has an area but we definitely have this to still see north east south so westgate it should yeah it's actually this area unless it's up there or maybe it's stupid try but not so Ready, go? Yeah! yeah. Just for the open. Hello. Hello. Be safe. No, oh, no. That's not what I would want it. Haruna. Oh, yeah, that's one. 
That's what I think it is. This is a bit easy. that um, I would have hoped that I would have been the griffin but nope uh, yeah I don't think we checked this one shit uh, well, well we'll see should be one of the undiscovered areas I guess would make sense to do that. Ok, 
Okay, Adams. Huh. Definitely not what I was hoping for, actually. That's lost me, so that's not it. Is that Sir Norvin's? So maybe it is this area. Hmm. I can't travel just go forward with the travel. Dismount and turn and just will be too much fun to ride around the trail. Well. Not interested. Back to the stables, girl. Let's see. Feel this much. Uh, keep heading forward. Okay. The Black Shields took a hiding. The problem is the side quest doesn't really update either. Because it's so unused to hunt, board, hunt board to locate the Griffin. So maybe it's a quest. Call the show will soon. Let's go. Yeah. Check the little out piece first. If it doesn't trigger, I will look it up. What the problem with the quest could be. I will do Martha's Rest as well in the meantime. Griffins don't exactly make for easy prey. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. Oh, okay. So 
the griffin should be somewhere nearby. Straight home now. Oh, there it is. Oh, so pretty. Okay. There we go. Peace. This one I hope we find. 
Something there, boy. Oh, look, it's a letter crafter. Could that be our man? Are you all right? Yeah. Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? Sure. She's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund. It's not her who sent me. Maybe they can work together and learn from each other. That'd be a good combination. Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art. And not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Well, actually, I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. <laughs> ah, we're Short the situation, of I guess. showing him how to make the thing myself, that is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right. I've got some griefs to make. You send your blacksmith my regards. Will do. And thank you. How does that done? Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. Now we'll do the hunts. And... Martha's Rest was the closest. And it was in Broken Hill. Wait, where is Broken Hill again? Oh, here it is. Well, I can actually go for Eastpool. Much better, actually. Then I am guessing it might be in this region. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's 
Dragon Town. Oh, there aren't any more of them. Jeez. Okay, so let's head to Mortal's Rest because we have a side quest here. Speak with the Butcher. Uh, 
Oh, they have a merchant here. What are you after? Uh, nope. There we go. Much obliged. There you go. Thanks very much. And if we can sell. Is that everything? Maybe. Crafting, crafting, crafting again. trade is that everything take care there eh? thank you for sticking with us those of us who are still here have to look after each other ah welcome times may be hard but if you got the gill i got the goods what can i do you for unwanted violence if you have them though i'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't Boy, I haven't heard folk call him that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. And there was a war on that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Great raids would be your best bet. Memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Yeah, very helpful, at least. Let's go scorpion hunting. Um, nah. It's the same right away. Stay sharp. After what the Empire did to Marvel, darling. Don't you go causing any trouble now. Ready, go? Just in case, let's put a safe down. Because I don't want to heal up. I mean, I do want to heal up, but only with Flames of Uber. So if we find a quick little fight once that's done. Okay, so that's what we're going to So how do we get off again? Oh, be safe! Before it goes bad, or any worse, at least. <laughs> okay, so hide away.
Did you find our mystery ingredient? I did indeed. Marvelous! Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely. You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. <laughs> Into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. <laughs> We're not gonna try that shit, are we? So then it's always poisonous. That stuff can kill ya. Oh god. I present Chance's Stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Uh, Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm uh, not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. Yeah, um. <laughs> 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 Take it as much. Oh, teeth. What the salt on the senses. It's like choking on swamp water. And, and yet, up through the pungency, there rise complex, meaty notes. It, it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavors, but never have I tasted anything so fine. I would not try Thank 400 you, years. Fuck that shit. You. Yo. Welcome. I must share this gift. I won't rest until a steaming bowl of Chancer's stew sits before everyone in the hideaway. A single mouthful, and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. <laughs> nope, not gonna try. Not gonna try that. Nope. <laughs> not gonna die just yet. Screw that. Patch of metal. Uh, increase defense by thirty. We'll see if the need arises for that stuff to use. That monster's taking quite a liking to Lady. And with a bit of luck. How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him. And he asked me to give you this, along with his regards. That he wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. Uh, so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. I wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive, you didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. Oh, Turns out he's from Tabor. And again, most leather workers are. But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret, the details of which are the subject of some debate in the leather-working community. Then we better keep this close to our chests. Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. Should have kept my moaning to myself. Still, I'm glad you found him. This has cheered me right up. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. It's good to have you back, Blackthorn. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly what hides to look for. And that's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. And don't get me started on how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Anyway, enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. <laughs> He's back in business.
Looks like we won't be needing a new blacksmith. As if there was a better one out there. I wouldn't have been the same anyway. No one spins a yarn like old Blackthorn in his cups. <laughs> right, now that's sorted. I've got duties to attend to. Thanks, Clive. You've given me my mate back. <laughs> well, I'm glad we could have helped, of course. Almost level up again. Traceler's belt design draft. Ooh. It's on draft for drugs here. We'll have new crafting and black hammer. Okay. Well, who knows? Maybe we have all the ingredients for it. So, will it be? Electrum. The fuck's Electrum? Nah, we'll see when we get it, I guess. Shortaneous mass. Oh, else? that might be from the Hansel. That would make sense. Patron's Whisper. He might have something for us too. To the patron's whisper. The patron's whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friend's donations? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalog Smart. every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Oh yeah, definitely. Is everything we've received and everything promised? Please help us with one crime and inspiring nameless benefits from us. Yeah. Uh, okay. Find another... All yours. Respects meteorite. You earned this. Mm, pill talk. Berserker ring. Here you are. So of course, a rose is a rose. A rock is trying an empty shard. All yours. Okay. Cleric's medallion. Dire wolf jazz. It's very now to rock. All okay. done. Okay, Nectar, do you have anything? Uh, uh, board, let's check on board. Okay, we cleared all of them, so that's good. So now we can just go in to the main story. Back again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> it is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. <sighs> Ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. Very soon. The Mother Crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the Iron Blood made their move.
As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the mother crystal sacred, and they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship. Meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil, when next they spy an opportunity. True. They are a ferocious bunch. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital, killed the men, and captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Then... Thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. Let's see if Jill's ready. Oh, I think she is. He said we don't have a lot of room there, so. It will be over soon. One way or another. You ready? I think so. When you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the crystalline orthodox, the man who made me do all those unspeakable well, things. You can't kill him. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. Ooh. It's what I need to Called do to it. put the past behind me. What I need to move forward. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. We will make Sid proud. So at least we can do it. Drake's breath.
Useful trick. Freezing and thawing the spray to make mist. How did you learn to use your powers like this? The Masters made me do it. When the Crusaders took to the seas to keep the fleet's movements from prying eyes. <clears throat> I'm fine. No, you're not. This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. Understandable. But we'll be on that letter though. All right. Kingdom's mother crystal. Drake's breath. Strong currents, sharp rocks, and ether floods. Let's not forget them. This island is a natural fortress. But safety breeds complacency, allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. I imagined when I came here, it would be to reclaim it. It used to belong to Rosario, oh, hello. didn't it? <laughs> didn't Once, have though it's been the Iron Blood's clutches for far too long. Okay. Sure. Was I. I was just looking for the moon, for but... 13 years, <laughs> this rock was my home. Hey. I know its secrets only too well. This path was abandoned after an ether flood. They don't guard it. The perfect little shortcut. Judgment bolt would do nicely. Just to switch it out for um, I'm guessing thunderstorm. Ah, decisions, decisions, decisions. Fighter, right, go for judgment bolt. I'm not gonna switch Garuda's, I mean, Garuda's stuff is decent as it is. I think that we might switch to his Rook's Gambit. That's it. Okay. 
So you need like 200 more. Wait, there's something I want to check. Um, oh, details. Here we go. Upgrade. Uh, increases number of hits. Mouse street allows assignment to any icon. Oh! Oh! Okay. That I did not know. What about this? If you master these, increase. Okay. I'll oh, assign it to any icon. Oh, okay. That I didn't know. Ha! Huh. Okay, that changes everything a bit. Huh. Because if we upgrade Flames of Rebirth, then I can put that on Garuda potentially. Take Willow to Wakes. No, wait, hmm. No, we're gonna go for Judgment Bolt. I'm gonna go for Judgment Bolt. That that way we can focus later on with Will of the Wicks. We put Will of the Wicks on Garuda. Was that an earthquake? Well, we know we have they happen all the time. That wasn't even a bad one. It's not this just the ability to put it on everything. Unless we can, I'm not gonna focus on I don't think I'm going to switch anything out just yet. Look at this place. What I'm a mess. I'm feeling about this. Because that looks kind of like a nest almost. Wait.
or a morbo maybe. <laughs> it's turned. Nothing a shield of Rosaria can't handle. Just like old times. Be sure to keep clear of his ball. Believe me, I need to. Yes. Down. And we should have plenty. Press on. Yes. and then judgment bolt. OK, 
Okay, we can still upgrade that. Okay, so the amount we gain depends on that little bar. Okay, that I didn't notice. Therefore, use HP regain is high. Well, that makes sense. Increases bolts. Okay. drive for keep because that's good for close range. It's like a furnace in here. We're inside the volcano. You get used to the heat. Though I don't remember it being quite this hot. Was that one cause for concern? It was. And they're getting bigger. Something's wrong. Josh and Bull, let's go. get if you refuse you but reset this. Okay so we get everything back from the church world. Okay, seeing as it's not that much to my liking I will upgrade uh for more for Oh we need <laughs> ten easy points. Damn. Okay, what does the lightning rod do? It is uh it's well. Uh it's going well, going well. How's it going with you, Nero? How does work? And then we'll upgrade the focus. It's better. Annihilation? Annihilation. Extra hits for the others. There we go. So we're not gonna master it because mastering will just allow us to put it on any icon. Um, but I will keep Phoenix as one of our main battlements. Actually, if you get anything better, then I'll just switch out Garuda. Ramu is decent for now. Yeah! 
Hey, you can never scratch if you can do this. I mean, it is the Phoenix kill. We do have some of the crit, but mm, I don't know. They're mediocre-ish to what uh, the, the Phoenix stuff can do. At least for now. Actually, let's have a look. Increase the type of shoot each precision dodge. Huh, okay. Maybe we can switch out the combination. Then again, the combination is good to have. Which might be one type plus. Uh, for small upgrades, I'm not gonna. Two gates, they go home. Don't tell me you came from Cut that. No way. <laughs> Should have figured. Fuck. Is there no other way across? <laughs> nope. Come on, Clyde. If you're a Phoenix and you have a Come on. I think I was thinking here was Bunkai. This is gonna be close. Because of Luke, yeah.
try. If you fucked up, you would have been better, I guess. Oh, stop. I'm guessing that it moved this way. Drake's breath. We're nearly at the Oro Trail. Okay, so that's better. 9 HP extra and a bit of defense. Do this. Okay. See what this is, it's probably gonna be a little boss fight. What the? <laughs> thing again. Fire type. But they never leave the lava. If I didn't know better, I think this volcano was about to erupt. The demons. I mean, we fought that thing, or Why you know, this was effective. Then this one must be the exception. Get him! Session. Fuck. Oh, cut. Face the bottom. What do you call? Not friendly. <laughs>
pissed off. Shit ton of money. <laughs> I don't even know. You turn to where you came from, really. <laughs> Squish. Are you hurt? I just hot. Thank you. Quite a commotion our friend made. Let's hope the guards didn't hear it. The gate to the inner chambers is just up there. Then we make for the sanctuary. I need to finish this. Oh, before we... the heat finishes me. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Technically, you would think that Clive has a better heat resistance because of... Well, not only the Phoenix Blessing, but also because of Ifrit. I guess he is still human after all. Oops. Okay, so we're saving this. And I see Shu is still alive, so we're gonna. I was gonna say harass Shu, but we're gonna bug him. He's doing a. Uh, one of the Zola games. I can't really say. Oh, Minish Cap. I was looking what it was. But it says entitled Minish Cap. Okay. Um. Bum, channel rating, shoe, shuriken, shuriken, shuriken. Here is shuriken. Okay, so we're heading over to shuriken um, with Minish Cap. I have not played that game before, so I am curious to see what it is or what it does different than the other older Zelda games. Uh, everyone that dropped in, thank you very much. I'm guessing both. Cassie and Moss are in here. Nero, thank you as well, per usual. Um, yeah, tomorrow will be another Final Fantasy 16 stream. Then, uh, what are we tomorrow? Wednesday. Uh, uh, no, yeah, Wednesday. Um, the hoodie that we made with Spreadshirt should arrive tomorrow as well, so keep an eye on Instagram for that, because we might post it, or at least later this week. Uh, other than that, uh, no updates, as far as I know. Mm, no. I'm still more or less weighing in on going to a convention Saturday, but I'm still thinking if I will go or not. Um, but yeah, the rest of the, the week will be Final Fantasy 16 streams. Um, Saturday and Sunday, we will see. We might pop in a Final Fantasy 16 stream in it. But I do want to focus on some other games as well during the weekend. But we will see what we'll do and if we have other people joining us. But with that, our time is running out. We'll head over to Shu and I'll see everyone tomorrow with the next Final Fantasy.